Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. And today's video is going to be about my recent Comic-Con experience. And I'll go ahead and do some sketching like I always do. So I'll just start drawing something. Uh, so we got something to look at as I'm yapping here. Uh, so yeah, so I recently just did the Motor City Comic-Con uh, 2016. And it was a great experience. Uh, you know, great to uh, kind of meet a bunch of old faces because I had been out of that scene or that particular convention set up for a while and uh, it was a nice way to get back into the, uh, the rhythm and see some old faces and meet some new ones and just get the overall experience uh, you know out of the way and, and see how much it had changed. It, it had actually been almost 15 years since I did that uh, particular Comic Con or maybe a little under that but quite a long time. And the reason being is I, you know, I got into uh, doing a business and uh, being more of a business owner than, than a comics dude. And um, recently getting into back into storyboards and, and uh, for my work and trying to be a full-time illustrator. Uh, I feel that the comics scene is, is something else that I, you know, I need to be part of. So, uh, as you know, by watching this channel, comics are near and dear to my heart. So, all right. So, at any rate, all that... Uh, you know, uh, stuff out of the way. Let's go ahead and get to, you know, what the overall experience and everything, uh, was like. So, uh, I made a little bit of a, a note here or a series of notes just to say, okay, uh, what are the main things that I think the main takeaways that, you know, you get from doing conventions or what are some of the things that you might want to look for when you start doing conventions, or maybe you already do conventions and, you know, there's some things that you like, some things that you don't. Uh, there's always pros to cons. <laughs> I'm sorry, pros and cons to everything, including cons. Uh, so let's uh, let's see what those were on this particular one. Now, before I get started, let me first say, I don't mean this. If I say anything negative, I don't mean it derogatory towards the people that run the cons. I don't mean it towards anybody at the conventions. Uh, I just want to be truthfully honest with my viewers and say, you know, there's not, it's not always just peaches and cream. There's going to be some stuff that's just not as, you know, beneficial or that makes you happy. I mean, but the, you got to judge it on an overall curve and experience. So I just want to make sure, you know, I don't, I don't want people to think that I'm being negative. Uh, you just have to be honest with yourself when you do things like this. So, and I want to be honest with you guys. So that being said... Uh, first off, I'll start with sales, you know, because uh, sometimes I'll say in the beginning, uh, you're more concerned with sales. Um, you know, you spend a certain amount to get into these shows. Uh, table amounts were uh, 250 at least for what I paid. I don't know if that's a, a flat rate for everybody. I would imagine it is. I'm sure if you're a little bit more of a upper echelon talent that maybe you get a deal or maybe they just comp you because you're going to bring an audience. I don't know how that works. I'm not to that level. So I paid two fifty for a table. Um, one thing that, that I was kind of uh, a little bit upset with that, uh, and, and sorry, just so you know, this is sales and cost, sales versus cost. Um, one thing I was a little upset with that, you got <laughs> two chairs uh, and only one guest badge which quite honestly did not make any sense to me. I mean, I, I like kicking my feet up every now and then, but I'm not going to do that at a convention, so I don't know what the extra chair was there for. I guess if you have a fan come by and you say, hey, you want to sit behind the table with me or something? Uh, so I, I just thought that was a bit strange. It's like, all right, just give me one chair then. You know, make it really apparent that, hey, you're not getting an extra uh, badge with this. Because most shows I had always done uh, have, have always come with an extra badge. Uh, especially at that kind of table rate. So, again, sorry if I'm sounding negative, but that's just the truth. I just feel that that was a little strange and also just a little bit hefty on a artist alley table. Um, not saying it's not worth it. It's just, for me, that seemed a little hefty. Now, the other thing was, uh, you know, cost of parking was high. If you didn't uh, get the weekend pass the first day, you had to pay the uh, 10 bucks a day uh, parking, which I thought was ridiculous. Um, and it the list goes on and on. There's just, uh, everything was really high priced. Now, you can look at that and say, well, that's because the show is so popular. And that's because there's so many big names and it's such a great venue. Okay. And that's, and you would be right in saying that for the most part. Uh, but, you know, there's a certain part that you just feel like, 
okay, so I'm not I'm not the talent. I'm I'm not partly the reason that people are coming. I'm just a a sideshow that has to pay full price. That kind of bothers you in the sense of a promoter of somebody thinking that your work's great and you're trying to uh, make that statement uh, that maybe you're just another cog in the machine, you know, uh, and they're they're getting you for what they can. So that part I thought was a little bit, you know, I mean, to me, people are still going to Artist Alley. Uh, you know, they're going to that show partly to see the artists in Artist Alley, not as much maybe. Maybe they're going there more for their prints and they're, you know, getting their stuff signed and things like that. But it all starts in Artist Alley. You know, it, all those big guys and titles and, you know, most of them probably started in Artist Alley. I would say if not all, but most of them. So, you know, I think that's a little unbalanced. But, all right, so I am getting negative. Let me let me bear back off. So sales-wise, I did okay. I didn't have a lot of products to sell. Uh, I sold some original art. I sold some sketches. Um, I sold some comics, which was the main really the main reason I was there was to promote the Blackstone comic, which you can get for digital download on my Gumroad, by the way. Just... So the interaction with the fans and getting the feedback on the comic was insanely important and just gratifying. You know, it gives me motivation to know that what I'm doing has some validity. And uh, so, yeah, I was really happy with that. And, you know, to sit there and talk to them and get their general feedback is just, you know, awesome. So, yeah, so the uh, the sales were, were okay. I mean, I think I just barely made my table back if that, and that's, that's pretty unfortunate really as far as sales go. But I'm also, I've been in business enough to know that you just can't look at overall sales for, especially for a promotional, uh, event like that. You, you almost just can't look at sales. Now, if you're somebody that goes there more equipped for sales, like tons of prints, tons of little, uh, knickknacks and things and, and things at every different price point and promotional uh, uh, value, uh, you know, ways to promote the clients back to your your table for sales, then, then, you know, you can focus just strictly on sales. You know, I wasn't going there to be uh, another person in a um, um, swap meet type setting, you know, which is uh, something else I feel that those shows have become very much like, almost like a, a glorified uh comic flea market you know and there's nothing wrong with that you know there's a lot of people that make a great living off that and that's what you know if you got to do that you got to do that that's not really why I go there I go there to promote my art uh, my following and so I, I expect that if I don't make my you know table back or my I don't make a profit I'm not freaking out over it so that part's not too much of a concern but I did want to be forthcoming about you know about where I was financially by doing the show now, luckily, this one was really close to where I am, so uh, I didn't have to pay for, like, additional stuff like I normally do. Like, when I did even Detroit Fanfare, uh, even though it was still pretty close, I got, like, the hotel, and, you know, so then you got to add in all those costs, and, you know, you're eating out more, you know, the whole time, so you got to add in those costs, you know, things like that. Okay, so that part out of the way, which, you know, I probably should have started on something else. I didn't mean it to sound too negative, but now, uh, organization of the show. Uh, pretty much for the most part, it was decent, you know, uh, it wasn't great because the show was so busy, so jammed out that I think they were short on space, short on parking, uh, short on everything. I mean, one of the things that happened and I feel really guilty, um, is the, the way that you're organized behind those tables is so jammed, uh, that you have to slide behind other displays, other people to get to your stuff. Uh, which I think is totally inappropriate, not cool, you know. I even bumped into my neighboring uh, vendor and knocked over some of their stuff. It was really awkward. I felt horrible. Um, so if you're listening, one more sorry to go with the 10, 15 sorries that I gave. You know, and I even I offered to pay for stuff because it was, you know, it like knocked over one of their things and it could, you know, possibly even damaged it. And it's like, not cool. You know, there should be a, a clear walking space behind that stuff. And, and there wasn't even a line from the vendors behind us. So they had their stuff pushed so far back that I was trying to not knock their stuff over in turn, knocked over my, my, uh, neighbor right to the side or whatever. So it was just embarrassing and, and totally uncalled for. It doesn't need to be that way. There should be, uh, if you're paying that kind of money, it's just tape off areas or create more space, uh, by spacing the, uh, the areas out more. I mean, come on, you're paying 250 for one person. Uh, that adds up pretty quick. You know, it's just like 
figure in a little bit of space and try, instead of trying to jam in all these various artists. Um, so that, that was the one thing about organization. Now, as far as the rest of it being organized, I would say they did a really good job. You know, they, they seem to have plenty of personnel. Um, you know, there was, uh, a nice layout overall to the show, which I imagine, you know, this show has been going on a while. So, you know, I'm, I'm a newbie in this regard. Uh, but it, it's, it's organized real well as far as the overall, um, setup of the variety of vendors and things, uh, just not the space that's, you know, uh, equivalated or whatever that's given to the vendors. I think that needs to be, uh, organized a bit better. So, you know, organization, I'll give it a middle of the row kind of thing. Um, let's see, promotional value. Uh, I think promotional value is excellent. Um, you know, that's the one thing that, that led me to even say this was still a good show, you know, or not the only thing, but, uh, there was a lot of people there. And in turn is why they probably struggled in the other areas. Uh, it's a big show. I mean, I've never been to like, uh, I don't know, Motor City. I've been to Chicago Con. Um, it, it's it's huge. I mean, it's a big show, you know. So it's not it's not a, um, um, what's the big one? San Diego. It's not a San Diego Comic Con uh, type thing, but it's, it's pretty darn big. So... As far as promotional value, I'd say it's great. They end up having some pretty big names there, um, whether it be the the comic book names. Um, there were some huge names. There was uh, uh, some big stars. So you know, with that comes a lot of uh, uh, fan base from them, and you know, so promotional value was was fantastic. Uh, even was able to connect with a lot of new fans with the Blackstone comic. Get some you know really great reviews. Uh, it, you know, so that part I would I would definitely give a big thumbs up. It, it was a lot of promotional value in a show that size, so that's definitely well worth it. And you can't put a price on that, so I just have to say that that was uh, subjectively or you know just really good. Uh, networking was fantastic. Um, see, like all the all the good stuff starts coming out. Probably should have started here. Uh, networking was fantastic. Like I was able to. Uh, meet some artists that that were similar caliber, uh, if not a little bit better, and in, in what they were doing, and their organization and their um, their ways for, you know, utilizing things like Patreon, Etsy, um, some that were doing the digital stuff like I do, and so it was neat to be able to talk with them and get a better feel for, you know, what what I might be doing right, what I need to tweak, what's what's different, uh, networking in general of just saying. Hey, you're into comics. Uh, you're a comic artist. Me too. Here's my card. Uh, that stuff's really important because y you um, you pull a certain energy from working with other artists, uh, collaborating, and things like that. And then also, you, uh, you you can just ask the right questions that you pretty much have to just search relentlessly online or wherever else to try to figure out. At those conventions, it's simply like leaning over. Hey, what would you do here? Oh, this is what I do. I mean, it's just so easy for the whole ebb and flow thing of getting uh, information and getting it right that, again, you can't place a number, you know, a numerical value on that one. That's just, It's just very, very important. So if you're looking to get into comics, if you're looking to learn the right things a lot faster, the conventions are so powerful for, for things like that. Um, so yeah, networking was fantastic. You also end up bumping into people that are, like for me, I'm more of a artist that likes to write uh or try to write I'm, I'm more of a storyteller than a writer uh so i got to meet a couple writers and and kind of get even you know pick their brain a bit you know and i don't always get to do that i don't where i'm at i don't uh, bump into a whole lot of writers and things like that so um those conventions are fantastic for that and um yeah so that was that was neat as well uh what else um you know distribution you meet people that are promoting distribution and things like that as well so you learn all kinds of things as far as the networking um overall learning experience i think that kind of goes with what i just said but it, but still just you know being able to uh learn the um the format of the conventions um now one of the things that seems to have happened in uh the time that i've been away is it seems like the conventions have become very overly commercialized with products, um, which is bound to happen, especially when costs go up with uh, 
like I said, with tables, I can only imagine what the big <clears throat> vendor types were paying with uh, larger booths and things. Some people were buying three to four tables and sandwiching them together and doing their thing. So, you know, those costs are going up exponentially to do all that stuff. Um, not to mention when they have more displays, they got to bring in more product, more product costs more money, blah, 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 you know. So at any rate, um, you know, I think to compensate that, they've become a lot more commercial in the way that they've marketed a variety of uh, materials. Like, I mean, there was, <laughs> there was just the strangest things. Like there was, I was, I was just waiting to see a beer koozie with Spider-Man on it. And, and I don't know that there wasn't one. I just, <laughs> it just wasn't, there's was so much to take in. It's kind of hard to, to know what was there, but there was a lot of like products, you know, that just would have like a variety of things on it. And it's like, Man, people are really, and I don't remember that back in the day when I was I was going to the comps. Maybe I was just singularly focused on the art and, and what I was into at the time. So maybe I wasn't taking all that in. But I'm pretty sure it just got more commercialized. And they started doing a lot more of a variety of products to compensate sales and, and you know, figures and all that. Um, so, you know, if you're into that, cool. If you're a marketing uh, guru and you like coming up with little things like you know different ways to uh promote a certain character or whatever and there seems to be a, a certain freedom with that now i don't i don't i didn't see anybody uh getting in trouble for that or maybe they had licensing rights i, I doubt it but who knows um so there was a lot of little products like you know i didn't see keychains but i'm pretty sure there's probably keychains there as well um so th there was a lot of that and then that's why i mentioned the whole flea market feel you know i got i got a bit of that um feeling uh and and the only drawback to that i don't want to knock that because i know there's a lot of people that make their living that way and I'm, again i'm not trying to be negative to anybody I, I support whatever you have to do as long as you're getting to be creative and use your art and you figured out a niche and, and that allows you to do that kudos to you i'm not knocking it you know i i i would rather just draw and create art but uh sometimes you have to think in terms of a niche or a um a gimmick almost um, so I'm not knocking that, um, but it seemed like it, it was, you know, a little bit more prevalent than I've ever noticed. And it seemed like that got more attention than per se the art. Uh, that's, that would probably be the only drawback to where I think that it should be art first and everything else secondary or, you know, but other than that, that's, that's, uh, you know, what works is what works and you got to give the customer what they want. So if that's what they want, uh, then that's, what's going to do well. And I think overall, you have to learn what shows are about that, what shows will uh, have their variety of focus. You know, I've been to some shows and they're all about cosplay and that's cool. You know, and this one was pretty cosplay heavy, but uh, not as much as some. I've been to some and it's like, it seems like it's pretty much a show about cosplay, um, which I'm okay with that. I, I love the creativity that goes in those costumes and the time spent. I love talking to them about, you know, their creativity and, and doing that. Uh, not to mention, I love the pictures. I got a bunch of pictures of a variety of costumes that I just thought were killer, you know. And uh, I even told one, I was like, "Yeah, I think I might use this for one of my sketches if you don't mind." Oh yeah, go ahead, you know. So it's it's all good stuff, and that that I think feeds the uh, feeds the fire kind of thing. Um, and, and keep in mind, there'll be pictures of that on my uh, uh, Ram Studio Comics Facebook if you want to check those out. The kind of uh, photos that we took, pictures of our little meager. <laughs> artist alley table and things like that you know pictures of the sketches i did and all that fun stuff so that part is cool you know so i just want i the main uh purpose of what i just went over there is just realize that each show you should uh learn what what that show's about and what you need to take and tail to be to get what you need out of that show you know so certain shows are going to be focused on different things and then you need to kind of be ready for that uh i don't think that every uh, set up and every um, uh, thing that you do will work at every show is what I'm getting at. I think that certain shows will just uh, work better if you gear towards a certain, I don't know what to call it, genre, style, or, or whatever. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying there. So yeah, so what else? Um, that was the experience. Uh, motivation. Motivation is a big one. I've talked about that on this channel, and I'll, I'll try to wrap this up. I know this is getting long already. Um, motivation is a is a huge it's probably the biggest reason i go to conventions i it, you know because i'll be honest so you're sitting here drawing in your basement like i'm right now i'm in my basement everybody it's a big fancy studio i'm in my basement um 
and I'm drawn away and I'm having fun and I'm like, oh, I'm you know enjoying this. I don't know what this guy is, super super guy yeah, dude, whatever he is. And you know, it's sometimes you get a little lackluster. You get a little bit like, all right, I've done this before. Am I getting any better? What am I doing? What do I got to do next? You start to wonder, and and with that, you're it kind of kills your motivation sometimes, you know. And when you go to these shows, you come back just fired up. You come back ready to draw. You you're able to look uh, objectively at other people's work and see where you stand. Uh, so in turn, I think it motivates you like a lot. Like I, that's one of the biggest reasons that I go to these conventions, and why I'm so excited to actually be back and uh, and to to do these shows. Yes, well, there are a few things I thought could have been better. Of course, you know there always there's always going to be that. But overall, the experience was great. Um, the motivation and the inspiration is fantastic. Um, you know, it's, it's fun to see so many people excited about comics. I think that's the greatest thing. I mean, it's like, you know, you think that, you know, uh, comics are like, you know, I don't know, so, so like there, there's a decent audience. There is a huge audience for comics nowadays, way, way more than there used to be back in the day. You know, obviously because all the big movies smashing it and killing it at the box office and things like that um but yeah so they're they're just it's amazing what uh what you see as far as the audience and the, and the overall demographic it's not you know just one demographic it's it's a, a huge variety of uh people and and you know styles and it's just just very exciting very motivating um and then overall, the last thing, and I should say last but not least, uh, is it, fun. How fun was it? <laughs> you know, it's um, something that, you know, we look at like, uh, well, I didn't go there to have fun. I went there to work and promote my art. Yes, but you, you got to have some fun in the process. If not, why are you doing it? I mean, if you didn't want to have fun, you could have you could have been a, um, I don't know. So I don't, I don't want to call anybody out. You could have been something else if you didn't want to have fun doing what you were doing. Uh, comics are a great way to enjoy what you do, hopefully make a living and, uh, and have fun. And, and the fun experience of that show was fantastic. It was a great time. Um, lots of fun, uh, things going on there. And, uh, you know, I was even making, uh, comments with the other, uh, vendors, uh, teach side of me at the show. And, you know, we were talking about how it was, you know, God, it's so much more fun when you can get out from behind this table and, and walk around and, you know, you almost don't want to come back or something. And, you know, and, and that's, uh, you know, you got to make time for yourself there. So hopefully you got, you know, multiple people going to the show where you can afford to do that. Um, but it, it is, it was a really fun show. So that, that does uh, account for some of it as well, because when you go there, you're not just the... Um, the working artist or, or whatever you're doing, writer, uh, you know, colorist, whatever you're doing, uh, you're also just that kid in you that wants to just walk around and see the other stuff and enjoy the show. So you are getting some value there as well. So that, that, that part was, uh, you know, a big A plus. Um, so yeah, so overall that was my, my convention experience. Um, and let me finish this by saying that I do appreciate all the hard work and effort that goes into these conventions that the faculty and the teams put forth to make it happen. Uh, without it, we couldn't all collaborate and get together and do what we do. So it's uh, I do appreciate that. As well as all the vendors that put forth their products and efforts into making cool superhero stuff uh, and other genres, I, I do appreciate your efforts as well. Uh, it's a very cool experience. So overall, I give it the big spidey thumbs up and appreciate everything that you guys do. Now also keep in mind to comment in the section below and let me know what your convention experience has been. What conventions you liked, what you didn't, what were ones that you really felt were uh, uplifting and great to be part of. Uh, just overall general feedback so all us artists can compare notes. So thanks very much for tuning in. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, all that fun stuff. And keep drawing, keep having fun, and bye for now.